Alright, what's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on the video today. Um, going to be working on finishing up, or working on finishing up, um, the deadlift platform I've been having sit here on this uh, horse stands for a while. Uh, finally went and got the stall mats today. Uh, I'm going to get those cut down to size tonight. And then tomorrow when I wake up, get the saw going, get this board cut down to the size I need it to be. And then I'm also going to be using the spare board and then some other two by fours I got laying back there. Hey, I'm actually pointing at it. And then some other scrap I got laying around to build a platform to load uh, Atlas stones onto at the gym. Um, that'll be set into the squat rack basically. So I'm gonna start working on this right now. I gotta get, if you saw the last video, all my stuff that I did show it in the last video is still sitting on this board here. Why are we focusing? Um, so I gotta get all that stuff moved off and uh, get into the video. Alright, so I got the first stall mat set down on the platform here, and I bought a sharpie to measure or to make a line to cut down. But I just tried to draw on it to see what it looked like, and it is too dark. I thought it would be a little bit lighter gray than it actually is, and it's almost black showing up on the stall mat. So. What I'm going to do is take that uh, first stripping and clamp it down right where I need it to be and try to cut right along that edge, take it off, and then cut all the way through. We'll see how it goes. So what I have here is a four by three um, stall mat that is five half inch thick. Um, the bigger ones are five eighths thick, but the board I bought, the piece of birch, fifty dollar board, was uh, a half inch thick. So what I'm gonna do now is I just bought a brand new razor blade too. Use that. Make a nice line down the piece of the first stripping there and hopefully have a nice clean cut and got to do the next one after that. So the edge didn't turn out the prettiest, but neither am I. Uh, 
So uh, I use the the edge that I cut along here. You can see there's quite a bit of waves in there. I could clean this up a little bit, obviously. Um, it's just, oh well, it's gonna be what it is. You know, regardless, they're gonna be happy with it. Uh, it's better than what they got now, which is nothing. <laughs> other than my little two chunks of stall mat that I took in there. So, yeah, now I got a little extra chunk again that I could do something with. Take it in there, put it underneath some of their equipment so it stops sliding around a little bit. But, so this will be a two part video. Uh, the other part will be tomorrow after I cut the board down. Um, gonna be hard to do here. It's after probably 10:30 right now at night. So um, this is something I could get done ahead of time today. Make sure I got enough setting in between the two pieces to fit the board into. It's gonna be uh, four by four, right? Yeah. So that'll be four by four, four wide, four deep. Uh, right in the middle and then I believe I have some polyurethane that I can coat it with to make it look sharp and we'll be able to take it there this weekend hopefully so hopefully I can carry this all the way out to the truck by myself we'll see though um, so yeah wife wasn't too happy I bought this stall mat but oh well it'll be better in the long run So that's pretty much going to be it for today. I got both of the pieces on there and then the middle piece will have that nice birch that's leaning right there in the middle. So I got to cut that down tomorrow. Use my, either my table saw or my circular saw. I think using my table saw by myself is not the greatest idea so I'll probably use my circular. So let's go real nice and slow and easy with it so I make sure I get a clean edge, hopefully. <laughs> um, I should have got it cut down when I was at Home Depot with it, but I was in a rush. Uh, so, yeah, so that's going to be it for today, and we'll be back at you tomorrow. All right, day two-ish of working. Oh, come on, focus. Here, here. All right, day two-ish of working on uh, the deadlift platform it is a whopping... I think my truck's at 24 degrees outside. Uh, we did get a dusting of snow last night. Um, so as you saw, I got the rubber mats cut yesterday. I got my circular saw sitting right here. I got to run inside, grab the dimensions of the stone molding platform so I know what size to cut that out. Since that's smaller, I'm just gonna lay that down, cut it out, um, and then cut the board that I need to make the actual platform part where you'll be standing. So the stall mats are for where the plates come down and hit, in case you don't know much about um, deadlift platforms. That's what the rubber mats are for. And then the wood platform in the center will be where you stand at. Um, I got some polyurethane that I might take inside to let warm up for a little bit. I do have two space heaters running out here, um, but since it's not fully insulated out here, it won't get too warm. Um, so I'll probably put one of my space heaters uh, like up on the platform to let that help that dry a little bit. Uh, I'll probably put it on each side of the rubber mat for and point it over top of the board to help it dry out a little bit. Um, however long it takes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the stall mats off there right now. Go grab my dimensions, get the boards cut and get everything screwed in place and then use the polyurethane. All right, so what I've done here is I cut half of the piece of the wood onto the other half of the platform and then half of it going onto the table saw. I got my line made up with the, 
Oh, come on, autofocus. With the first strip going across there again, we use the mark marker to make a line going across. Take the first strip off and then go ahead and run my circular saw across. Alright, so I got the <clears throat> board cut out and I had to struggle there for a minute because my blade was loose. But the cut turned out pretty well. I'm going to put the side that I cut on that end because uh, that end will be up against the wall. And that way I have two professional cuts done on the sides and on the front. And I think it looks good with the grain going this way anyways. So we'll get the, everything put in place here and start screwing it down. So I got everything screwed down now. Honestly, I didn't want to put anything down the center. Um, I mean, it'll be loose in the center, but everything is screwed down along the corners. Same with the middle of the platform. So I got to put the polyurethane down. But it looks pretty good. I mean, it overhangs a little bit, obviously from not a very good clean cut. Um, maybe the woods just, I don't know. The bottom two boards are a little bit older than obviously that one, but it'll it'll work really good. So I gotta clean this off a little bit, just wipe it off with a dry rag to get some of the sawdust off there, and then get coating it.
All right, so if I can hold my tripod still, this is what it looks like after a, a polyurethane. So I will let this dry. I will probably put a heater closer to it, but it looks pretty, pretty sharp. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, nice and shiny right now. So uh, see what it looks like when it dries. You could stain this also, but I figured using a nicer piece of wood such as this birch, it would make it pop a lot better if you just pop, put polyurethane on it and didn't stain it. So it looks very sharp and uh, should look really nice in the gym. So that's going to be it. I mean, I'll post some pictures up on uh, Instagram or whatever once it's nice and dry, uh, which will probably be up before this video. So uh, it's not pretty but it's gonna do the job that needs to get done. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for clicking on the video, and we'll see you back here again soon.